hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are gonna get right into it because this is a question I've been receiving a lot on my platform as far as you know I have this physical ailment or I have this condition or what have you and essentially you have to look at it like the body is needing purification that's the best way I can describe it you need to purify your blood you need to purify your overall temple and the best way to do that is through your circulatory system because your circulatory system it does just that it circulates throughout your whole entire body so burdock root which is one of my favorite 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 herbs that i've ever learned about because of the power it has to cleanse the blood to purify your temple so another question that i get is how do i know it's time to detox how do i know it's time to heal my body and what i've kind of looked upon my research is basically when the blood becomes acidic you experience things like what we have nowadays we have a lot of people who are infertile we have a lot of people who may experience migraines who may experience whatever the case may be is some type of system that is not getting the energy that it needs through your blood right so when we talk about ph levels and all of these different things that we throw around in terms but people don't know the iron the blood that we have has the ability to carry out oxygen throughout different systems of our body it's very important to incorporate iron into our daily lives and you can do this with dark leafy greens herbs is just an extra additive that you add throughout your day so i do my herbal teas i usually do i can do burdock in the rising sometimes i do red raspberry leaf which is also another great herb that has good iron good vitamins good flavonoids that increase the oxygen and the functioning of our various systems like our endocrine system like our limbic system and things of that sort so you have to basically put that energy back into your body and the best way that I can describe detoxing and fasting it is essentially getting out of the way of ourselves to allow our body to do exactly what it was designed to do your body was literally created to heal itself if you give your body the correct amount of nutrients the correct amount of vitamins in what we're eating what we're doing if you exercise that is then boosting your mood right you're, you're you know we talk about serotonin and oxytocin all these various things we basically have to give ourselves love they love to create these crazy you know definitions that we have and words nowadays and i tell people if you just break it down it's it's literally your essence of joy in your life are you enjoying your life if not your body is going to tell you that it's going to show you in various things like diabetes like heart attack like stroke like stress like anxiety right so all these various things that we have created these disorders but i realized that going through my masters of clinical mental health at ant we have all these different diagnoses and different disorders and things of that sort it's literally the result of living in such a crazy hectic environment we have a lot of things on the TV that scares us we have a lot of things that make us nervous then you go to your job that you may or may not like and then you're trying to come home then some of us may have kids and then you see how all that kind of builds upon itself and we do so many things outside of ourselves that sometimes our body gives us signals give us gives us indications that we need to tap into ourselves we need to go into our minds into our bodies into our spirits and really understand holistically what's going on because what you will see is certain emotions certain stressors will lead us towards certain choices for ourselves for certain experiences for ourselves just so we can shape our minds and shape our consciousness into the evolution that we essentially need to be in i know that's a mouthful but literally like i just try to tell people that if you get out of the way and you give your temple your body the things that feel good the things that light you up inside the things that make you feel good that is also good for you that you're loving to yourself that you're caring for yourself you know that you want to give yourself space when you need space you want to show self that you're listening to self right and when i talk about intuitive healing it goes hand in hand with holistic wellness a lot of people love to ask me the question how long is it going to take to heal that question is solely up to you are you putting in the work are you doing what needs to be done spiritually mentally and physically there is no <laughs> amount of time that i can be able to tell you for me you know i started to see really great results in about five months but then again i was doing the work spiritually it sucked it <laughs> 
it sucks okay if somebody's up here telling you that oh it's sunshine and rainbows that's a lie that is a lie i'm telling you right now it's gonna suck you're gonna be i i was asking the universe to show me with grace of course it still sucks um different things to evolve my spirit different things to evolve my mind and when i ask those questions guess what ask and you shall receive i received all of that information tenfold it was in my body right that's when i had my miscarriage it was in my mind i had a lot of anxiety i was anxious that's honestly why i got this tattoo right here breathe i was starting to get a lot of tattoos and different tattoos that i have on my body represent different aspects of my life and what i was going through like this too shall pass like i knew i'm asking for these things to happen for these things to occur and it's like i know and understand at the end of the day i'm going to get through it i'm going to give my body what it needs to get through it to go through it and that's a big part of detoxing and flushing out our body purifying our temples another big part is fasting right i mentioned on the last video about a liquid fast that i chose to do and essentially it only takes about 48 hours for a fast to kick in and do what it needs to do to reset different systems your circulatory system your endocrine system it only really takes about 48 hours because you are basically saying i'm going to shut off my stomach and allow other parts of my body to rejuvenate itself right and it's going to circulate so once you rejuvenate this organ once you rejuvenate that essentially your cells right your cells be they're so smart our bodies are smart right it will eat away damaged cells for you but like i say you have to give the body the energy that it needs you have to give your your melanin centers which is something that the doctors don't talk about you need to be giving yourself sunlight we have a lot of black people in our community that have different things like vitamin d deficiency iron deficiency anemia we make a joke about anemia all the time oh i get cold and no that's your body saying honey i need some energy i need some chlorophyll i need some melanin i need some whatever the case it may be you know we see acne we see things like weight gain weight gain is nothing but a bunch of toxins that have overly accumulated in the body and that can hold you know it can be in your stomach it can be in your waist it can be in your hips because for a long time i thought the shape that i had was my shape until i genuinely started to change a lot of the things that i was eating a lot of the choices that i was making like sitting down i started to say okay 10 minutes today i'm gonna get up and do something that's gonna feel good it may not feel good during the time but i always knew i felt better after and i had a journal and things of that sort that you write down and you talk about your feelings how you're feeling when you're going through what you're going through you know you're gonna have those challenging times where you want to go back to that because when you put certain things into the blood i'm telling you your blood is so powerful it will crave more of that when you have impurities in the blood it will then attract more impurities because you're going to be craving it it's what's circulating through your circulatory system so you have to purify that and during your purification i'm telling you the best way i get questions about hey can i still eat xyz can i still again <laughs> you have to remember the body is going to do what it needs to do if you get out of the way of yourself you need energy to digest what's in your stomach a lot of people will say oh i feel lethargic or i don't feel good or i feel like i can't go to the gym well because your energy is being taken up in your system your digestive tract it's energy that is being taken up in your digestive tract and i promise you if you get out of the way of the digestive tract and you allow it to do what it needs to do you will heal ailments you will see change even things like i told women these irregular cycles that we have this discharge that all these vitamin d deficiency iron deficiency they'll label it different things and tell you oh it's fine it's normal it's what no stop letting them people tell you something is normal that's a dis-ease that is something your body is trying to alert you to something saying hey something's not right just like when we get sick we have mucus that runs out of our nose just like when you know certain women they're going through certain things stress in their life different things like cravings that they eat women say i crave during my cycles that's the worst thing you can do for your cycle because your cycle is trying to cleanse what's out you know 
it's trying to cleanse what's in your womb so you have to give it the nutrients to do the work so yeah different things like that if you guys have any more questions please feel free to reach out to me you can instagram me dm me on my socials that girl vani which is my main page sometimes people ask me questions up there these hidden gems which is my health and wellness page holistic wellness page and that's where i do a lot of the herbal healing a lot of events i have an event coming up it's called healing the divine feminine it's going to be in charlotte north carolina it is a two-day retreat full of healing full of crystal work yoga work spiritual work it's gonna be so beautiful i cannot wait for it it's gonna be in charlotte north carolina for more details, please let me know. I have no problem with answering your questions. And as always, y'all, make sure y'all go outside. Make sure I get some sunlight. Make sure y'all drinking y'all water. Make sure y'all staying out the way, okay? And just stay beautiful. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.